Hey, hope you've been having a great week so far. I know for most people it just started because it's Monday. But look, we are a little less than two weeks away from WrestleMania. Uh, WrestleMania 39. Um, and uh, I'm going to be honest. This week was a very weak card, a very weak Monday Night Raw for a hype, a build for a WrestleMania show, especially when the go-home show is next week. This week was very weak, very uh, underwhelming, uh, if you ask me. Now, um, it did showcase uh, Austin Theory very well. It did uh, uh, have him in a good match against Montez Ford. Uh, still, once again, uh, them uh, showing that they want to break up uh, the Street Profits. Sooner rather than later, uh, we shall see. But uh, th that's pretty much them showing us that, uh, telling us that. Um no John Cena, no Brock Lesnar, uh, focused everything on the Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes uh, segment at the very end of the show, which, quite frankly, I did not even stay tuned in. I did not watch the entire three hours just to watch the uh, full ten minutes of it. Um, quite frankly, I looked up the... Uh, uh, highlights of it um, once Raw got off the air. I watched uh, two hours of Raw tonight. I didn't watch the full three. Uh, I did not see any need to uh, wrestling fans. I did not. Uh, once they were about to trot out uh, uh, <laughs> the latest edition of um, how Otis looked, along with Chad Gable, I thought, forget this, I'm doing something else, I'm going to go play Mario Kart, I'm going to go get something to eat, do something, okay, I, I, I am doing something else, but, you know, um, you know, they did do a, a few good things um, with the show, uh, I'm not going to say it was all bad, okay, um, they uh, showcased Austin Theory. Wait a minute. I already said that, okay? So uh, they they did do that, though. Um, outside of that, they gave a good spot. They highlighted um, <clears throat> the Judgment Day uh, very well. Uh, both aspects, not only the fact that uh, Dominic Mysterio is going to be facing uh, Rey Mysterio. They highlighted that because they gave Dominic Mysterio a victory uh, tonight uh, over Johnny Wrestling, uh, which was a good matchup, kind of getting him groomed for his WrestleMania matchup. Still no here, still no sight of Rey Mysterio tonight. Probably going to do exactly what everybody thinks is going to happen. Going to save it for the go home show. Some people think it might happen uh, at Las Vegas, uh, especially since the entire Ray Mysterio family is going to be there. The Mysterio family is going to be there uh, in Las Vegas on Friday, but I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think many of uh, you all do either. Um, and besides that, they got a lot of highlights. You know, they, they highlighted Omos. Uh, ratings killer. And uh, Brock Lesnar. They uh, showcased both of those men. Uh, and I'm sure we'll see Brock Lesnar next week on Raw. Uh, I'm sure we'll see Edge next week on Raw. I'm sure we'll see John Cena next week on Raw, but um, they showcase their matches like in individual uh, packages, so um, I, I kind of like how they did that, and um, 
I do believe uh, that we're going to see the demon at uh, WrestleMania as well. So uh, that's something that we have uh, to look forward to um, for uh, a week from either Saturday or Sunday. Uh, they'll probably put that on Sunday. That's my guess anyway. Not sure yet. You know, we'll find out next week. Uh, they'll probably tell us next Monday or next Friday. But wrestling fans, overall, uh, Raw was not that good a show whatsoever uh, tonight. And uh, quite frankly, with how this is being built up uh, between between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes, I can honestly say that uh, I can see Roman Reigns walking out victorious. I, I, I just can, especially since they have two back-to-back -back shows uh, that are not, I mean, that one is in Puerto Rico, and then the other one is in Saudi Arabia. I can definitely see Roman Reigns walking out of WrestleMania still. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion. I, I can just see it happening. Because this build has sucked. The one thing that I liked about it so far is the fact that tonight Cody Rhodes said he does not want to s hear the words of his father come out of, in of anybody's mouth again. Because he's not coming down there to give a bionic elbow. Goldust is working for a different company and all this stuff. So I'm glad that they are moving towards the target of simply Cody Rhodes. It's just a little too late in my book because there's only one week left. Should have done it before now. Okay. But glad they finally pulled the trigger on it. Y'all let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel today. Hit that bell button. And of course, until I see you again, this is Webby. And I'll catch you all on the other side. Talk to you later.